Hello everyone, and um, welcome to an episode of Minecraft. It's been a long time. I kind of missed you guys. I missed making videos, but um, I just wasn't doing it. Uh, now I'm back, hopefully for an extended period of time. We'll have to wait and see how long it uh, it lasts, but hopefully it'll last long enough. Um, what we're going to do now, though, is um, it is getting dark, so I think I'm going to go ahead and put my bed out so that I can sleep. But as soon as it gets daylight, we are going to um, start collecting sand because we are going to need a lot of glass. I kind of looked ahead a little bit and over there in that direction is um an ocean i don't know for sure how big it is but we're gonna find out and we are going to actually go to that ocean as soon as we feel like we have the resources to do that and i'm not going to take too long to go there because i just want to get there but i feel like okay it's nighttime now so let's go to sleep good night And good morning. Okay, I feel like we um, need to go ahead and go over there and kind of get our bearings a little bit. I am going to gather a bunch of sand though, and we're going to start smelting it so that we can make glass. Because as everyone knows, you need glass to make underwater domes and things because that is what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to make a big underwater base and make it like a big glass dome, but we're going to see if that works or not. I know it will be very hard to do that, and uh, this is lagging a little bit, but um, I'm just going to stand here and wait till it lets me collect the sand. And I'm going to talk to you guys about the plan. Um, okay, there we go. There's some sand. Um, but we really need to get the, um, the plan in our heads. I don't really know for sure if I have a good plan or not. I don't really have any plan right now. But the plan basically is to... Um, get enough resources to make a sufficient base underwater and we can expand it later um, as we go because I do plan to expand and keep going and all that but what I really need to do is um, get started with it because that way we'll know kind of where we're going but I need to also, ooh, poor bunny, be careful. Um, I need to also um, make sure that I don't drown. I don't drown, yeah. Um, because that would be very tragic and very hard to recover from. Because I would have to find all my stuff in the ocean. And I'm sorry, I'm so weird right now and not really making a lot of sense. I'm kind of tired and also I am so out of practice so I hope that you guys are enjoying this video and I hope it's making sense enough and not really being hard to understand. Um, I'm trying to get an entire stack of sand so that I can start smelting it so that we can get all that glass and as soon as we get a stack of glass we can kind of start building I hope but like I said it's gonna take a while because oh no I burnt my shovel 
because we're going to need way more than just one single stack. Um, but we do need to bring this out so we can make a shovel. And I think I'm going to make a stone shovel. And I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. But my cat is kind of sitting right next to me and snoring. So hopefully you can't hear that and it's not disturbing you. But if it does, I'm sorry. Um, so let's go ahead and continue on with the sand collecting and like I said as soon as we get a stack we're gonna start smelting it and we're just gonna inspect the ocean a little bit um, because I mean this is ocean obviously but I don't know for sure like how deep it is in certain spots or any spots really but what I'm seeing over there ooh, that looks interesting I like that. That's like a little underwater. Can you guys see those circles right there? It's like a little underwater, not cave, but like tunnel. Um, I wonder if it actually goes all the way through or if it's just like not rendered in yet. That would be a great place to either start building or build towards though, because that is so cool so we're gonna think about that um okay i do have a stack i didn't know i didn't realize that i got one but we'll go ahead and um start at smelting and i will have to make um charcoal at some point probably but we're going to try, oh, sorry for bumping the microphone there. Um, but we're going to try to start out with just coal. Um, and let's go ahead and jump in here and see if there's something interesting. There's fish. Lots of different kinds of fish. Or just the same kind of fish over and over again. I can't really tell. But this is so neat. Hi there, fishies. Are you guys friendly? I think you're friendly. That's looking like a throughway, But I don't know for sure. And you know, this is kind of silly because I do have a boat. But I'm trying to find, like, coral and stuff. That's a dolphin. Oh, that's a dolphin. Yay. Okay. Let's go back to the shore. Because we do want our smelted glass. And we do want to make sure that um, that we have that. that. We don't leave anything behind. Um, this is good stuff to have also. I don't know if I have any of that or not. Um, I do actually have sugar cane, so that's good. But um, we need to make sure that we don't run out of that. And basically, I'm going to try to have everything farmed underground um, or underwater, really, and just make my whole base underwater, but I'm going to see how difficult that would be because I'm not sure, but I'm thinking that in the long run with a lot of time and patience, we should be able to get that done. Um, I have eight blocks of glass now, which is good. Um, I have dirt. I don't have a lot of resources to be honest with you, but, um, I think maybe, let's try to, that's just regular dirt, yeah, okay. So let's try to um, grow a tree or two right here, and then we can chop them down and like replant them as we get more saplings, because I want wood. 
I really don't care at this point what kind of wood it is. I mean, I do have my preferences, but at this point we're working with what we've got. And we're working as close to this ocean as humanly possible because we do not want to lose track of it and we do not want to lose track of ourselves or our stuff. So we're really going to just focus on getting this smelted and getting resources built up so that we can continue to build our ocean paradise. And that is the goal. Um, as you can see, it looks as though the ocean goes pretty far out, which is good um, because we want to make a pretty big base. I don't want to start it like right here, like the main rooms. I guess we could start the main rooms somewhere like out here because it doesn't have to be like super deep over there, but... Um, I do want to start like a little a little pathway out to the ocean that starts on land if that makes sense because that way we can actually go um to the land without risking drowning and that is really the main focus right now, I'm sorry if you can hear my clicks, I don't know how close my microphone is to my mouse right now. Um, I just have kind of a little weird setup here, but it'll be fine. Um, but really the focus is get resources and start building and start kind of mapping out a little bit of our base. Because to be honest with you, I think it's going to turn out to be huge and probably really weirdly shaped but it's gonna be okay and we're just gonna keep going and do what we can do I think what I'm gonna do though is take that down and collect it I think I got it all um, so I have seven now and I'm gonna go ahead and um, continue this little line here because that way we can grow a bunch of it and it'll be right here where we need it and this can just be like a little cute border to our eventual staircase down because we're going to make a sort of a little staircase thing um, as soon as we can get wood to accommodate that because I think we're going to start building it in wood and then as it goes down into the ocean into the actual water we'll start building with glass because I feel like we don't really need to see out of the main entrance it's just really the underwater part that we need to see it, see out of because it'll be super amazing to watch the ocean and just see what happens around us and it'll be so pretty and like I said I'm just gonna keep building and expanding until I either find land or run out of things to build or run out of ocean <laughs> which I don't think will happen anytime soon on any of those counts really um, but I'm hoping that these trees will grow pretty soon and without any interference from me um, because I don't have bone meal so I can't help them along but I can just wait and see and honestly there are trees pretty close there's some over there there's some over there obviously but I just kind of want to stay in this one spot until I can feel more confident about my ability to go out and explore because right now look at me I have no armor I have no shield I have a wooden sword for a weapon I guess I have a stone axe that could work for a weapon but um yeah I really don't know what 
to do at this point. I just need to wait for my stuff to smelt and I need to wait for my trees to grow and it would be ideal if I had like a saddle available because then I could go get a horse or a donkey or something but I don't so I just kind of have to wait and see what's going to happen. Um, I could, let's see, do I have, I have a chest. I feel like I need to wait until I have a sufficient wood source before I go ahead and use my wood. And let's see, I'm going to go over here just a little bit. Just to see what's over here. There's flowers. And there's that little weird thing that we started with. In the episode. We started standing on that. And I don't know for sure if this is. Sorry if I bumped the microphone. But I don't know for sure if this is just like a random well. And there's really nothing to it. I'm guessing that's it. Because I mean look. It doesn't really go anywhere. If you guys know different or know that I'm right, please comment below and tell me because I really don't want to miss out on anything that might be relevant or good for me to have. Um, also, there's a fly in this room that I'm sitting in and I wouldn't tell you that except for the fact that I'm afraid that you might be able to hear it. So if you are hearing it, then that's why you're hearing it. Um, so please just kind of try to ignore it because I'm trying very hard to ignore it. Um, I will try not to have that be an issue in the future, but I can't promise you anything. But either way, um, really we just need these trees to grow. I don't know if they're going to. It looks like the sun is going down. This is kind of shaping up to be a boring episode, and I'm sorry about that. I hope you guys are enjoying it anyway. I am really glad to see you, or to talk to you. I can't see you, obviously, but I'm really glad to talk to you again. I'm really glad that I'm getting back into doing videos. Um, really, this video was born because I couldn't sleep. That's honestly the uh, reason I did this. But So, you can... Um, thank my insomnia for um, giving you a video. And I'm sorry that it's been so long. I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded like I should have been uploading all along. But I hope that um, you guys can forgive me and I hope you can enjoy this series with me because I'm super excited about seeing everything. I don't know for sure that we'll actually see everything in this particular ocean, but I'm guessing we might get a good glimpse of it, a good chunk. Um, so let's go ahead and see if we can, we can't sleep quite yet. Okay, we should be able to sleep now because I see stars. There we go, good night. And good morning. And it's raining. So that's great. Oh, it's not raining now. It just decided to rain, but then it decided to not rain when the sun came up. So that's great. I don't know if like these are too close to each other or too close to the other things or what's going on, but I hope that they will grow soon. Please grow trees. Um, while we wait, though, why don't we go ahead and go mining a little bit? Because I know that we're going to need stuff. I know that this is, like, going to totally collapse because it's sand. But it's okay. I will eventually get to a point where it won't collapse. And we'll be able to actually get some mining done. Um, I see sandstone. Which could also be very beneficial for our building in the near future. Um, it might be really fun to have sandstone and to use it to make floors or walls or something. Um, I don't want to be too reckless. I don't want to run into anything that 
I can't handle, but I do want to get some resources available to me, and I'm hoping that we will have a little bit more of an exciting episode if we go mining instead of just staying on the surface and waiting for trees to grow, because that's a little bit boring. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of what I should do to explore the ocean or to build or any other random things that you think I should try to do, then please leave the comments down below and I will read them and I will consider every comment that is left and see if you guys have any good ideas. Um, also, at some point I would love to get some sort of pet, but at this point I haven't run into anything and I don't have the resources to get a pet anyway, so I need to kind of gather resources and try to stay um, alive at the same time. Um, I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to make a stick. These planks do not match, but they will still make sticks. So I'm going to make another torch and I'm going to put it out here to mark that this is my mining spot. And then we will just have like a cool little mine here. Um, and we can just keep it going. Um, I'm going to check and see on my thing here. Okay. We have almost got it done. Um, as soon as it's done, I really want these trees to grow. I don't know that they're going to. I don't know that they're not going to. If you guys know for sure that they won't, then please let me know because, like I said, I'm a little bit scatterbrained right now. I'm a little bit tired. I'm just... I'm a mess, <laughs> but it's okay, um, we'll make it through together, we'll work together and we'll do things to make this a great series, and I hope you guys stick around, I hope you guys actually enjoy the series and feel involved in it, because that would be great to have you guys involved and happy and just you know, we could play off of each other and, and really help each other out. Um, you guys could help me out, honestly, is, is the goal there. Because, I mean, obviously, I'm just making a video for you guys, and it's not going to help you or hurt you in any way, but if you guys could help me, we could have an interactive system and be there for each other, and it would just be super helpful and like I said I hope you're enjoying it I hope you guys can hear me I feel like my voice is starting to um, get a little bit tired but I'm hoping that you can still hear me and it's still great okay I got an iron pick going which probably wasn't the best choice at the moment but I did it anyway, and I think there's nothing wrong with it. I think it'll work out just fine and be helpful and useful to us. So that's why I did it. And we're just going to keep going and try to gather as many resources as possible. Obviously, we need to gather certain resources on the surface before we bring them down to the ocean because there's some things that you just can't get in the ocean and you know most things you can't get in the ocean which I'm fine with I can gather resources and we can do that um, and just get things situated and obviously these trees are not gonna grow I don't know what's wrong with them I don't know what I did wrong but maybe you guys know maybe you guys can fix it for me and help me figure it out because obviously obviously I can't figure it out um so hopefully you guys can help me 
with that. Um, but that means that we will need to go in the next episode and get some more wood and some more saplings, hopefully. And um, just kind of continue our, our building going forward. Um, I am really excited to see what happens and I'm really excited to see the new ocean things. I mean, obviously I took a really long break, so it's obviously probably not that new to you guys anymore, but we're going to explore it together anyway, and we're going to have fun anyway. And I'm going to build up very quickly so that I don't get caught in a random dark cave. Um, I'm going to take just one off, and we're going to... Oh, I don't have torches. I need torches. Um, because obviously that's super important. I am glad that I have a bed. Um, I do not want to get caught in the middle of the night not without a place to sleep because I know that phantoms are playing. Um, and I don't want to encounter that. I have no interest in ever seeing any sort of phantom or monster that makes it that make, makes itself known when I don't sleep. Which is why I love having a bed to sleep in and I hope that it will be there forever. Um, I mean, obviously, eventually I might get a colored bed because this one is white and kind of boring, but it's okay. It keeps me alive. And I think I... Th I'm probably going to um, go ahead and cut this episode off right here. Let's go ahead and go into F5 mode so you guys can see my face. I'm going to end this episode here. Um, please comment down below any ideas or suggestions you have for, um, for this series or for maybe a different series or whatever. Um, I don't know if I really did a question of the episode in the last episode of this, but we could do a question here. Um, I'm going to ask you guys what you're most excited about for this series. What I'm most excited about is having a fun little glass house underwater and being able to see all of the beautiful ocean life around my house and look at it constantly without having to worry about drowning. Um, so that's what I'm ex excited about right now. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope that you watch the next, ep next episode and subscribe um, and share this video with your friends. And I will see you all later. Remember that, um, wow, I can't even remember my own ending. Um, I will come to it in a minute, but, um, oh, that's what it is. Um, go tell someone that you love them and remember that I love you too. Bye.